Well, welcome back to Unruly Guides. This is the continuing videos about how to use Gutenberg and Sigil to make a master ebook template. Now, I'm going to be rushing through this, and I apologize. Um, I am going to put together an entire book, which you can download from Unruly Guides. Now, originally, what we did was we went to Gutenberg, and we found a book. Now, I usually go to the front page. I just choose a book. You want to choose a book that is, a, that is very similar to the book you're trying to format. So if you're doing poetry, then find a poetry book. If it has images, you want to make sure you have images. If it's a basic fiction book, then choose no images. But I choose images because you want to see how the cover, and you'd like to see how they lay out. You don't need a huge file. It only ha This is only 356. Don't do something that's 3 megabytes unless you really want it. So once you have your file, then you need to upload it to Sybil. And what I have here is I've already saved it in here. I also have a master EPUB, and I'll show you what I did with that. It's called Project Gutenberg. It has a number with images. Now, for me, I can actually right-click this and open it to Sigil. Now, you may have to go to open your Sigil program and go File and go Open. Now, to get Sigil, you go to type in S-I-G-I-L in Google Search, and it'll be the first one called the WYSIWYG eBook Editor. It's free, and it's open source. What I want to show you right here is the different styles that are in here. Now, this first page should always be the cover. They're calling it Wrap. Let's just rename it right now so we know what it is. Okay? This isn't going to affect anything. Once you save your file, the NCX file will... Um, changed everything knows what it is but you want to name it something easy all lowercase no underscores no hyphens because you're going to be, be excuse me you're going to be creating a table of contents later now in this next section we have all the project Gutenberg information at top a copyright and then if you scroll down you can see that you have a copyright page which is really rather nice it has an image and also the preface so that's what we want to have it also has the contents Excellent. Now we will be doing it slightly different, but it is there and the first chapter. So this is basically your entire book right here. This is what you need for your template. So what we're going to call this is I'm going to right click it and rename it since the first thing on the page we're going to be using is the copyright copy. Now if you choose to have a title, that's fine. You can just name it title and that's pretty much what this is. But I like just to go to copyright. It's an ebook for goodness sake. Now let's see what else they have that's interesting. Now you notice here, which is what I like, it's very small text. It's also caps and small caps. That's a rather interesting um, style to use. Now they use classes, that's your style sheet. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top and again I apologize for going so quickly. You can see when it pulled in, it has three different style sheets and they all got pulled in over here. And as you go down, you'll see that these styles called classes are attached to things. So to see what I was looking at, I have to go back here. Pause. This is rather interesting. So I highlight it here and I click and you can see that what it's doing is it's got something called small cap and smaller. Now eventually what you're going to do is go through the styles and find these particular things. So SM cap is what we're going to look for. I don't know what style sheet it's using, so let's go to the first one. The easiest way to do it is go Command F, and that will bring up a find. So we're going to put SM cap, and we're going to find it. And it is in this zero. So this is one that we want. I'm going to get rid of that. One we want to keep. Anything that says small cap, I found that very interesting, so I want to keep it. That's what you're going to do. You're going to go through, find the pages that you want to keep. You'll eventually delete the ones you don't. For example, you could delete the end one and just go right click and go remove and permanently remove it. Then you save your file, go file, save as, and you want to name it something different. So you always have your original. You can do this when you first open it as well. I save it as master. And so now I have a master EPUB I'm working with. And you can do that and start integrating everything. So I hope you found that this was helpful. I'm going to continue on with um, style sheets and images and the table of contents. This is Suzanne with Unruly Guides. Thanks for listening and have a great day.